Hello and welcome to Plus Sports and Plus TV Africa. It's Monday, a brand new week and an opportunity to catch up on a lot of the sports stories that are happening in the world of sports today. We'll begin with swimming. As a swimming's world governing body, FINA, on Sunday, June 19th, voted to restrict the participation of transgender athletes in elite women's competitions and create a working group to establish an open category for them in some events as part of its new policy. Transgender rights has become a major talking point as sports seeks to balance inclusivity while ensuring there is no unfair advantage. The decision, the strictest by any Olympic sports body, was made during FINA's extraordinary General Congress after members heard a report from a transgender task force comprising leading medical, legal and sports figures. The new eligibility policy for FINA competition states that male to female transgender athletes are eligible to compete only if they can establish to FINA's comfortable satisfaction that they have not experienced any part of male puberty beyond Tanner stage 2 of puberty or before age 12, whichever is later. The policy was passed with a roughly 71% majority after it was put to the members of 152 national federations with voting rights who had gathered for the Congress at the Puskas Arena. The issue of transgender inclusion in sports is highly divisive, particularly in the United States, where it has become a weapon in a so-called culture war between conservatives and progressives. Heavyweight world champion Alexander Yusek will face Britain Anthony Joshua in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia on August 20th in a rematch of their London Bout last year, boxing promoter Eddie Hearn's uh, matchroom stable announced on Sunday, June 19th. Ukraine's Yusik beat Joshua in front of a sellout crowd in September last year to claim the WBA, WBO, IBF, and IBO belts. But the 32 year old will have a chance to win back his titles in a fight dubbed Rage on the Red Sea. Yusik, who is 19 and 0, with 13 knockout victories, said he had a mission to fulfill by retaining his crowns. Yusik returned to his homeland to join a territorial defense battalion following the invasion, which Moscow calls a special military operation to raise doubts about the rematch. But Yusik could face a tough task against Joshua, who is 24-2 and two, with 22 knockout victories. Now, Ons Jabur clinched the Bet One Open title after, the, after her opponent, Belinda Bensic, was forced to retire hurt with the score at 6-3, 2-1 in Sunday's final. The top seed raced forward uh, towards winning the first set with Bensic suffering an ankle injury in the final game of that opening set. The Swiss couldn't continue as Jabir lifted a third career title and is now projected to rise to a new career high ranking of world number three on Monday. Matteo Berrettini has retained his title at the Queen's Club in London, beating Filip Krajinovic 7-5, 6-4. The Italian smashed 14 aces as he took control of the match against the unseeded Serbian, who had never won an ATP main draw match on grass before this week. Berrettini is the first man in the open era to win back-to-back -back championships at Queen's. It's also his fourth consecutive grass court final. Fifth seed Hubert Herkes dismantled world number one Daniel Medvedev 6 one six four to clinch the Terra Watman Open in Halley on Sunday. The pole broke the uh, Medvedev serve three times on his way to victory and was relentless behind his own serve in a dominant display from the back of the court. The 63-minute win is uh, Hooker's first ATP 500 title 
of his career. And he becomes just the seventh player in the Open era to win his first five tour level finals. Hookers capped off a terrific week with the 2021 Wimbledon semi-finalist, beating Nick Krieg Kriegios and Felix Uger Aliasime en route to the showpiece. And in Formula One, Red Bull's Max Verstappen held off Ferrari's Carlos Sainz to win the Canadian Grand Prix on Sunday, June 19th and celebrate his 150th Formula One race by surging 46 points clear in the World Championship. The 24-year-old Dutch driver took his 26th career win just 0.9 of a second ahead of a frustrated Spaniard, Sainz, who was able to close the gap thanks to a safety car deployment, but whose long wait for first win continues. Seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton completed the podium for Mercedes in a remarkable turnaround for the Briton, who had described his bouncing car as undrivable only a days before. Sainz uh, collected the bonus point for fastest lap as the Italian team at least managed to trim the gap to runaway leaders Red Bull in the Constructors' Championship to a hefty 76 points from a previous 80. Verstappen's Mexican teammate Sergio Perez, who remained second overall, retired after just eight of the 70 scheduled laps when his car's engine failed and was stuck in gear. Ferrari's Charles Leclerc started 19th after engine penalties and ended the day 5th, but is now 49 points behind Verstappen. Anyway, as I always try to say at the end of every show, it's a pleasure having you on Plus Sports on Plus TV Africa. My name is Mikhail Tinebu, and as I try to remind you, life is never boring with some sports. Have a wonderful day.